It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Wednesday, the 3rd of November. I'm James Spann. Cloudy, cool weather continues tonight and tomorrow. A little light rain in spots, but nothing too heavy. After that, the weekend looking pretty good. Here we go. This is the upper air look across the country today. We have a broad trough developing over the eastern states, ridging in the west. And for Alabama, clouds cover about the northern half of the state today. The southern part of the state with a sunny sky. But uh, again, from about uh, Demopolis, Clanton, and Anniston North, the sky is cloudy with a little light rain. That was the radar composite around 2.30 this afternoon. Some patchy light rain in places like Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, and Gadsden. But rain amounts very light. Moisture is very limited. Temperatures all over the board because of the variation in cloud cover to the south we have 65 at auburn they have a sunny sky but north of birmingham it's only 45 in aniana 48 in Cullman, 47 for haleyville with thick clouds we've got 50s for places like birmingham tuscaloosa anniston and gadsden north of the state we have freeze warnings in effect tonight much of tennessee kentucky parts of arkansas missouri Still no major freeze issues expected here in Alabama for the next five to ten days. And obviously no severe weather problems anytime soon. Here's the severe weather outlook through tonight. This is tomorrow. And this is day three, which is Friday. Rain for the next seven days. Big numbers on the upper half of the Pacific coast and just not a lot here. Uh, many places, not enough rain to measure over the next seven days, which is fairly odd for November. Typically, it's a wet, stormy month. In the tropics, extremely quiet. Thankfully, the only issue is that small tropical system, Wanda, up in the North Atlantic. That's going to do the hokey pokey and stay far, far from land. So model fans, here we go. The GFS, this is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow afternoon at 4. Troughing over the east, and for us, a cloudy day. There could be a little light rain tomorrow morning, but again, not much. Cloudy, cool. The high should be in the middle 50s. This is Friday, the sky becoming partly sunny. Friday's high, low to mid-60s. Saturday, a beautiful day to start the weekend. We start the day down around 40, the high Saturday in the 60s. And Sunday, a sunny day. Sunday's high, mid to upper 60s. Just gorgeous fall weather for the weekend. Next week, big old upper high sitting on top of us, looking good Monday and Tuesday. This is a week from today, Wednesday, the 10th of November, troughing to the west. We're still dry. This is Friday of next week, and the GFS depicting a very strong surface low near Chicago, snow west of the system, and maybe some strong storms down here. But again, the European at the same time says, nah, it's not going to be that amplified. Maybe some showers toward the end of next week, but nothing especially heavy. We'll lean toward that European solution. And this is the following day, Saturday, November 13th, back to the GFS. It's got that really deep trough around here with very cold air coming in, but again, use that guidance with caution. Uh, rain for Birmingham off the GFS Ensemble. Not much between now and the 18th of November. The amount's well under one inch, the mean there. Temperatures, highs go back in the 60s for the weekend. Lows around 40. And again, the colder pockets could see some frost, but nothing probably too widespread. Next week, highs, low 70s, lows mostly in the 40s. And hot off the presses, the brand new CPC outlook. This is for November 11th through the 17th. Temperatures around here will be very close to average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Hey, this is James Spann. I think one of the best parts of my job, getting to do weather programs in schools. During regular times, I'm in a school once or twice a day, teaching students, mostly in elementary schools, things about weather and science. It's a really great part of my job. In fact, if I wasn't a television meteorologist, I would be a third grade science teacher. But one thing I've noticed over the years, some children, not all, but some, develop a genuine fear, a phobia of weather, especially thunderstorms, and tornadoes. To offset that, I commissioned a couple of creative members of my family to write a series of children's books about weather. And the first one is out. Benny and Chipper, Be Prepared, Not Scared. Your kids will absolutely love Benny the Bear and his best pal, Chipper the Beagle Dog. It's a really good read about thunderstorms and tornadoes and how it's okay to be a little afraid, but you don't have to be really afraid.
As long as you're prepared, you understand them, you know what to do, and you take care of yourself. Information is very powerful, and that starts a process of kids overcoming that fear. And this book is a really good read for any elementary school student. My friend Ginger Z of ABC News in New York, the chief meteorologist there, wrote a forward here. Jeremy Davis, an illustrator, really makes Benny and Chipper come to life. It's a great read, and your kids will love it. I would encourage you to get a copy, and we'll have future books with Benny and Chipper about things like thunderstorms and the science behind them, tornadoes and hurricanes. So get your copy today. Right now it's available online at SpanBook, with two N's, SpanBook. Dot com. And you'll see some other cool stuff there as well. Benny and Chipper, prepared not scared, get your kids a copy today.